So, this is for Blythe Academy. We have to find uh, and solve one question with a right triangle and one question with a non right triangle. So, the first question, which is the right triangle on page 412, question number one Isabel is flying a kite on a windy day. The kite is 15 meters above the ground at an angle of 50. The string is held one meter above the ground. So, for the hypotenuse, or not hypotenuse, the opposite side will change the, fi the, the 15 to a 14. How much string has been released to the nearest meter? So that means we have to find the hypotenuse. So just for fun to find that we ha so we have to take in consideration we have the angle, we have the hypotenuse, we have the opposite and we do not have the hypotenuse. So the only one that we could use for that is sine. So sine angle equals opposite over hypotenuse. So plug in our numbers, sine 50 equals uh, 14 over hypotenuse. And there is could be calculations involved, but if you do it enough, you can just learn that you can switch the sine 50 and the hypotenuse. So that comes it comes out to HY or hypotenuse equals 14 over sine 50. Just get that solved. So, so we put in sine 50 our calculator gets um, 14 over 0 0.6 or 0 0.77 and then we just divide 14 by 0 0.77 which gets us what 18 point 18, 18 18 repeating but we have to round up to the nearest meter so the hypotenuse is 18 meters next question um, we have to determine uh, what the very the variable not given using the uh, sign. Uh, either way, we have to use the, the thing we have to find for the non-right triangles. So, equation for that one, we have uh, the capital B angle. We do not have the B length. We have the capital C angle, and we have the capital C length. So, that would come out to B, the, or the equation is B sine uh, capital B equals lowercase c over sine capital C. And plug in our numbers, B over sine 72 equals 27.2 over 40, uh, sine 43. Uh, so we can equation so far. So we have to get the B on its own before we do anything, which means we would times one side by sine 72, which would cancel each other out, and times this side by sine 72, which would get us B equals 27.2 uh, sine 72 over sine 43. We just gotta solve those and divide them by each other. So, t 
27.2 sine 72 equals 25.87 over sine 43 comes up to 0 0.68. Just gonna make sure I didn't do anything wrong. Yep. And then we just divide the two, twenty-five point eight seven divided by zero point six eight equals B equals thirty-eight. Or 38.044. But basically, that. now we have to sign, uh, figure out the other one. We have the angle for capital B, and we have the uh, side length for lowercase b. We do not have the angle for capital C, but we have the side length for lowercase c. So, just put, write our formula down, B over sine capital B equals C, lowercase c over sine capital C. Um, so, plug in our numbers, 29.5 over sine 44 equals 37.1 over sine capital C. That's what we get. I am wrong. That is not what we get. I use the equipment. Shoot. I forgot that it's for angles, so we have to switch over. So, sine capital B on top over lowercase b equals sine capital C on top over lowercase c. And then sine 44 over um, 29.5 equals sine capital C over 37.1. So got there. Is it in frame? It is. And we want to get sine C on its own. So you have to times both sides by 37.1. So times 37.1 on both sides. It cap cancels out on cancels out the bottom and it cancels out the top. So that would put sine C, sine capital C on its own. Equal. I'll just show you what I'm doing. Just to get a point of reference. And then, so on the other side, I just flip them just because it's easier for me to look at. Guys, could you please be quiet? I'm recording something for school. So, there, uh, just one second. I'm sorry. I got in. I'm very sorry that this recording is going like this. Bo. Bo. Out. Bo. No. Bo. Down. Bo.
I hope this does not lose, lose any marks, but I don't want to restart the recording because I already have everything worked down. Sorry. Um, so, 37.1 sine 44 over 29.5. And we could solve that right now, or we could put it in brackets and do sine negative 1. And I'm just going to solve first, then times it by sine negative 1, but either way works. So sine c equals 37.1 sine 44 equals 25.77 over 29.5 c, and then write down c equals sine, negative 1, bracket, so 25.77 divided by 29.5, sine, uh, divide, sine 0 0.8, uh, 7, 4, so C equals, capital C equals, capital C equals 60.93. Oh. I forgot to say the page number for this. this is page 433, questions 2, A, and B. I hope the disturbances do not make me lose any marks. I'm sorry for that, and thank you.